All right, welcome to the first part of this DVD where I explain why it is extremely important to use the wrist and the fore and back arm and the full leg. I have a stick here which I use to demonstrate that. So I will split this up in several parts. So number one, I use only my fingers when it is important that I use them and in a lot of the times it is not important that I use them cause when I want to play with my fingers, you can see it right there, I have only a very small amount of movement which is about three or four inches but when I use instead of my fingers my wrist I have a stick movement that is 180 degree as you can see it right there so I can move my hand inside and outside 90 degrees and therefore I have a much much more higher dynamic range and I can even increase that as you can see it but mostly it is 180 degree or mostly it is about 90 degree that I will use my sticks for the good dynamic range of a drum set but we can increase that by using the movements of the wrists and roll the forearm a little bit so the, the forearm rolls with it and if I want to increase the dynamic range even further I can use my back arm so that means when I want to increase the dynamic range which is now over 180 degree and I can use my back arm therefore I have the loudest and biggest dynamic range and the control of the dynamic range for the drum set the same with my feet when I only would use my feet you can see it right there it is only a little bit of the dynamic range uh, but when I use my full leg like that so I put up a little bit the feet the heel I put up the heel and push down the pedal I have a much much more larger dynamic range out of my bass drum which is extremely extremely interesting so I will demonstrate that in the next part of the video by uh, I mean DVD by using this one stick here and my feet to demonstrate you the dynamic range of a drum or a cymbal or whatever.